Hello there gang, Devere here, just playing a little bit of Black Souls, the extended edition. And I thought I'd just give a quick gameplay video for you guys and gals on the channel. So game options, now there is an exterior launcher to set your resolution, as well as a few other options such as black bars, why you'd want them, I've no idea. But with that, what do we have in game? We've got camera mode tracking and cinematographic. Cinematographic? How have you pronounced that exactly? Mouse sensitivity, uh, I'm going to guess that means reverse your mouse axis. And controls, which you can rebind. There's not many of them. That is actually space. I've already rebound it to space. But uh, for some reason it's not coming up here. I also rebound flashlight from E to F because F just sounds a bit more natural for your light. So with that covered, that's that's all there is option wise. Let's just dive on in with a new game. And uh, I will of course skip the introduction. At that moment, somewhere near Blackwood. Ooh, smoky. <laughs> I think the character model was the most spooky thing there. So, of course, this is a Resident Evil-styled Evil survival horror of sorts. Like your typical Silent Hills and that kind of thing. Some slightly clumpy controls. The biggest fight here is probably that camera. It is very bizarre. As you can see, there's no way of switching the shoulder. And for some reason, the, the light... Oh, no, it's working again now. It was, sometimes goes a bit funky and sticks up. <laughs> so as far as I know, there's no controller support. There's a mouse and keyboard, which is kind of also bizarre because, you, as you can guess, moving your mouse left and right moves you left and right, but A and D also does exactly the same thing on your keyboard. So it seems a bit redundant. Well, it could have been a sidestep or at least set camera. Oh, hmm. There is something here. It's a map. Well, of course it is. And the gate's locked. So let's have a look at our brand new map. So you definitely should be getting the Resident Evil vibe by now. Items. Equip. So at least we know what we're going to be getting. And documents. So let's have a read. Oh yes, yes, excellent. Like, like most maps, that's made everything perfectly clear. So the house is up at the top left, which I'm assuming is the house we stood outside of. So where's everything else in relation to that? Is the gardens? I assume that's all gravestones. Water from control device. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh, the map of the cemetery. Well, I'm clearly going to need that. Alright, exit to there. So let's carry on with that. That's where we just came from, isn't it? So the visuals are nothing overly stellar, especially the exteriors here. I know for a change, this isn't actually Unity. Well, not even Unreal, it's S2 Engine HD. So, so that's actually something. See, going around these corners, it would be definitely nice if you could just flick your camera at angles. Aha! Uh -huh. Gun! Some nine wheels. I don't know why I keep using A and D to turn when it's much faster to use the mouse. See, there, it would be really nice to do that sidestep round. Let's, uh, let's try entering the house. Eventually, we will enter the house. Oh, the interior visuals, are in, interior visuals, visuals aren't too bad. This strange vignette kind of effect all over everything. Oh, that looks so nice. An antidote. At least she automatically turns the light off, but it's very odd. You'd normally you have to hold F down to go into this light mode. Well, let's begin dawn chapping. 
Right, better find a weapon. What are you on about? I am a weapon. It is locked. Ooh. Nothing useful. What are you talking about? We could flog that for a fiver on eBay. It's not our gear. Clues, perhaps? No, but a box of 9mm bullets I didn't even see. <laughs> I can't open it. Something is stuck in the lock. Right, the usual bit of paper. Ooh. That sounds fun. Do you want to remove the carpet? Oh yes, I want to get down on all fours and tear up that carpet. There's a trap door under the carpet. Well, let's open the trap door. I need the knob. <laughs> How so much from tearing up the carpet to needing knob? Isn't this quite a saucy adventure? The noise coming from your side, I'd better find a weapon. An old mirror. Yeah, I'm not interested in the mirror. I'm more interested in the drawers. The... No, no, okay then. Oh, more clues. Hmm. Very, uh, <laughs> very random clue. And that looks like some gobbins. Let's have those. Box of nine mil. If we ever get a gun to go with them, we're gonna be like just minute, minute, little military on our own, ain't we? Oh, the stealth zombies. So, like, are we completely blind, or did he try and follow us out the door? Uh, right, uh, inventory. I didn't hear the door clash or crack or anything like that. He certainly wasn't in hiding in the corner. Equip. Why well, you can just automatically equip it. Alright, right click to aim. Easy enough. Let's go give him some brains. Or rather, let's bash his brains in. <laughs> well, that was dramatic. Let's land. Mountain. Can we have that? Nothing useful. Is it just me or does that music sound straight out of Silent Hill? It's called Jang 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 Jang. A wrench. Right. Well, we're tooled up, though, well, no doubt. Got enough bullets to fund a sort of South American Revolutionary War. We've got plenty of hardware on us for twatting things. So let's go, who is it? Is it you would want to always bind it? Yeah. Going down. Bring it. <laughs> well, they're certainly not the most scariest looking creatures I've ever seen, I have to be honest with you. my hands in there we don't need to we've got a crowbar dip it in wiggle it around do you want to take a look under the sink yes okay hmm that appears to be a pipe loose can we can we use our brand new tool we can isn't she quite the handy woman the sink should be empty by now There's something here. Key! Ha <laughs> ha! Progress is made. A gas cooker. Quick way to end it all should things come to the worst. Ooh, that that looks like something health kitted. Yeah. Alright, so right, fireplaces are always a good place. I know what it is. Is there any clues here? No, ran Ah, classic clock puzzle. No, okay. Fair enough. Very pernickety. What about these shelves? I really got keep I keep using A and D because it's so automatic. Right, that one down there was also a, a noise one, wasn't it? Ah. 
and a somewhat anticlimactic noise. What well, the new colour tones nice, the new colour palette in here. The bird cage. Ah, that looks promising. Let's have you. A handle. A bird cage. I can't even get that one. A wooden library. So it's not a real library then. A wooden library. Got it, got it. So where was the thing that was supposed to be in there? Was that the one that followed me out? Is that supposed to have happened? So it's made its way through all these doors and then just stood there staring at me. Right, was this one locked? It is locked. Uh huh. Right, let's try you. Unlocked. Good grief, more bullets. And there's a... That, I'm going to guess it's for the trap door. A wooden knob. And that's another way to end it all when things get too much. Alrighty. Now, is there anything else? I'm just going to guess it's nothing useful. Yeah, okay, got it. A wooden library. Another one. Well, that was the one with something in it, wasn't it? So, up the stairs. Now, let's look at that. All these little birds. We'd be 15 quid off, better off by now. On the chair. No, but that looks like a key. Let's have you. A blank key. Oh, some more gubbins for us. <laughs> Very generous house. Let's see. Um, <laughs> 75 bullets already. We just need the gun to go with them. We're storming through. Oh. I didn't mean to click that. Hang on. <laughs> I was going to look around to see if there's something to solve it with first. That was what I was actually looking at. Right, Earth. <laughs> Uranus. <laughs> they call it Uranus now, don't they? They've ruined the joke. No fun, these science types. Really not. Uh, Venus and Saturn. Neptune, Jupiter, Pluto. Mercury and Mars. Right. What was that on Earth from what? Earth from Uranus. How could I forget Uranus? <laughs> right, definitely can't do anything else in there. Right, so that was uh, Mercury. So, so Uranus. Boring. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sort of stuck. Stuck it somehow. That's good. It, it, the screen's cut off the, rest of the puzzle. Hang on, let's move some of these around. Maybe that'll. Uh, not just yet. I'm trying to click the thing. Uh... <laughs> I don't seem I've, I'm not sure I've got a choice. Oh, we can still move Saturn. What about Earth? The Earth is stuck in its position. Oh, I should have perhaps clicked that first. Everything should be relative, so I'm guessing that those two should have been there. These would move around relative to each other. Um, oh, I can get Neptune. Does that mean I can now move? No. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm guessing yes. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a brain teaser. Look, done it. I could use visit video editing here. It'd look really clever if I was that much of a cheap YouTuber. Right, we've got a, we've got a gift. It seems I couldn't touch Uranus. Well, what a letdown that was. Onwards. Kind of strange the way the colour palette keeps swapping in between different rooms. 
Nothing too toasty. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be scared about now. <laughs> I mean, oi, get off. <laughs> that would teach me to muck around with it. Uh, hello, I'm pressing one. Oh, you're going to get such a slap for that one, lad. It really is. Really? That one little nibble? And it's half crippled us? Come on. Time to check out the healing system, it seems. That's all. I'm infected, so I'm going to assume that means I need antidote. Oh, I will use that. Seriously, we're still on yellow and we're crippled like this. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, the combat's not particularly brilliant. Do you want to take the picture off the wall? No, but I want to straighten it. It's terrible having it left like that. A safe. Right. We haven't got a handy little solve thing here, have we again? No. <laughs> what a shame. All right, all right. Where's the med kits? Good grief. Uh, I'll use one of you. But it boosted me up to pretty much fixed, so I mean, I was gonna, I was about to say, half the fact they're not particularly scary, but I mean, it's a nice change from the usual Unity asset flip. At least it's not one of those awful Unity zombies you get in a lot of these games. So it is only a fiver, so uh, hang on, we'll finish looking around here first. There we go. We've got some more stuff here. Right, now, what are you? Hopefully a clue to the... Ooh! Well, this is randomly cryptic. Right, obviously F, R, P, N at the bottom there relate to the dials. Have I got a scribble stick nearby? Ah! Right, right, let's have a crack. Right, so F, R, P and N are going to be the dials, so it's... An Upwards facing F. I'm assuming this is going one, two, three, four, five around the top there. That means the upwards facing one would be a three. So the R is a. Where did I just see R? Be a two. P up there would be an eight. N, I'm going to assume for some reason it's the H. Are you supposed to combine those two things together? So I'm going to have to guesstimate that one. Five? So three, two, eight, five. Let's have a see if that works. If not. <laughs> Right, so we said so three, two, eight, and hopefully five. Oh, well, there we go. There is something. Another knob. Right, so we've got all that. There was that door here. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah, it's a chair. Really got to keep using my mouse. But it really killed for a side step. So, really, the biggest issue with this game, apart from the lacklustre combat, is the. Uh, is that camera angle. I mean, I should have showed you the uh, the cinemat cinematographic camera. 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 Wire. Right. Uh, we've got ourselves. key copy machine then we have a blank key right I've got it already here I can guess what you've got to do the one with something stuck in it and normally at least you need a piece of newspaper to put it under the door so which one was the stuck one that's the question was it you ah so wire news And a broken key. 
All right, so now we're back again. Well, look at that bit of the Resident Evil vibe, right? The, the, the backtracking back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of it is just this camera. And I don't know, it's obviously probably not going to be picked up on the screen tear, on the, on the video recording here. A lot of screen tearing going on, which is strange because I set it for 60 frames per second, which should stop screen tearing. It's also rather bizarre. It keeps appearing in the same sort of places. Normally, screen tearing goes literally across your screen, but uh, right, let's use you. Yeah, thank you. And you. That's rather handy. I'm having a blank key and a key cutting machine on the same site. Uh, right, I'll just left click. No, no, actually, I don't. Forget it. It's a bit redundant, isn't it? Once, once you've clicked on something using the use key to then ask, do you want to use it? Right. Nothing else in here. I do quite like those visuals, though. I do like that art. And the music's pretty decent. So this isn't the worst Resident Evil clone in the world, but... Just do with a bit more. We've even made the zombies a little bit more creepy. Give them a few moaning sounds. Because the first one appeared behind us moaning. And then did absolutely nothing. So. It is locked. Oh, can't she just automatically use it? Cut out the middleman, so to speak. Alright. Oh, nothing useful. Wash basin, there is no water. Uh, yes, of course I do. Otherwise, the game ends here. <laughs> oh, 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 the fear, the fear. <laughs> Mind you, I, I started faffing around last time and he'd done me. He's done me again! I was, I'd was, i swung when he got me. I'd swung when he got me. <laughs> right, it seems tactics are out the door. It seems just hold your right click and spam your left mouse as the way forward. That crippled me again this time. There is something here. All right. Yes, yes, it has. Oh, you're you joking? Look. Oh, when we're in fact, that's going to be every time, is it? Ugh. All right. Use that. Use that. Listen, Resident Evil. You have to be properly damaged to be limping along like that. Right, we should have all four of these. Now I'm going to assume that this is it something related to that. Well, I've got my scribble stick hat still to hand. So this is one of those games you're going to want to play. Yeah, you're going to want to keep your scribble stick nearby. I guess that's a crescent. That's a hole. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what that one's supposed to be, because I know it's going to be a half crescent. Mm. I'm going to assume it'd be maybe an upside down crescent opposite to that one. I'll find out in a second. Right, we have the knob. So can we... Uh... I need the knobs. We've got the knobs. Oh, right, we have to really use... Oh, it's going to be once, once you put them in, you then switch into the... I get it. So, again, can we just put all four straight in? Right. Oh, good show. Good show. <laughs> it's cut off the thing again. Right, so that's going to be the... Half crescent, assuming we're going across that way. That's going to be the hole. That's the one we don't know. And that's, that's the one that's also off the screen. Right, so we should, theoretically should just be able to exit. Unless I'm completely wrong. Oh, there we go. 
Uh, yes, of course I want to enter the basement. I think we'll get around to concluding our dealings very shortly anyway, gang, because, I mean, this isn't, it's not the worst game I've ever played, for sure. It's not the worst Resident Evil knockoff. I thought I saw, saw something in, oh, I thought I saw something in that cupboard there, there. I did see something. How do I get in there? This way? Music's certainly quite impressive. That probably means I'll get a copyright claim on my channel. These low price games, because it is only a fiver. Generally, that tends to happen if you get some really nice music in them. You generally get a copyright strike from it, but uh, yeah, what can you do? Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Oh, a large medical kit. Mag Blitz. I can see something there. Oh, 9mm. Sweet. Just my imagination, it looked like there was something behind there. So this is where this clumpy camera really isn't helping. Let's try a magical torch button, see if that gives us a bit more space. We could just scroll this this camera back or centered it up, or at least give you the cho choice to. Ah, let's see that safe. Can we get to that? Give you the, the ability to flick it from shoulder to shoulder. This would be a lot more bearable than it actually is. The handle is missing. Ah, any chance that is the handle? There is something inside. The key of the cemetery. The diary. Yeah, we won't be reading diaries. We've got a gun now as well, so that's good. So there's enough firepower to level a small town. And let's have a quick button. Load you and equip. All right. What the? <laughs> it actually looked better with the <laughs> better with the crowbar. It's locked. I'm going to guess that's something to do that hexagon thing. Yeah, oh no, the key of course will be for the cemetery like it said. So yeah, I think we'll probably get around to concluding our dealings, gang. Let's just gonna try and see if we can find something to shoot now we've got a gun. Oh no, idea. Hopefully this will give us a chance to Try out the firepower. Yes. Oh, sneak attack. This is actually worse than the... Has he got me again? Or have I, I, I can't see. I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to keep clicking a button on the off chance. No, we're dead. <laughs> I would have done better with the bloody crowbar. <laughs> yeah, well, we are going to conclude our dealings here, gang. This was Blackout. Extended edition. Blackout, Black Soul even. Black Soul, extended edition. Well, that gun was so effective. Yeah, crowbar is the way to go. You just don't faff around with it and spam the left click. <laughs> you destroy everything. So anyway, gang, it's not the worst game out there, but it is, uh, as you can see, quite hard going. Just just because of some strange choices. Why why not centre the camera traditionally? The player in the centre, or give us the option just to move shoulders or move it back a bit. Any of them would have made it quite de decent. But, uh, well, we, it is what it is. So, yes... Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Hope you found it useful and entertaining in some way. And as ever, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to let me know you're alive. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.